this is Esther Sir from Southern California, USA, and welcome back to my channel. This is the Word Disciple Training um, sixth unit. This is the, the completion. It's a very short one. Um, so let's begin. Loving the Word. John 14, 21. Those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. And they, um, and because they love me, my father will love them and I will love them and reveal myself to each, um, of them. Who loves the Lord? The people who, uh, um, listen to God's word, learn God's word and his commandments and, and follow them. These are the people that love the Lord. What kind of treatment will such a man receive? Um, it says in verse 21 that because they love me, meaning um, uh, Jesus Christ, my father, God, will love them and I will love them and reveal myself to each of them. By, um, uh, by uh, loving God's word, God is going to teach more, uh, teach them more about Jesus, more about the secrets, more about the blessings, more about the kingdom and more about God. So by learning and just, um, you know, if you can't, if you start at your starting point of the Bible is that you cannot believe, but you have a desire, you're searching. I don't know where you are, but you can start out by asking if you're real, if you are there, then show yourself to me. Start out with their prayer. That is an honest prayer. And um, I, I believe truly that God is going to reveal himself to you. How did, how did you distinguish between those who listen to and do the word and um, those who do not? What self-blessed have you had? Um, so what kind of blessings are you um, rich? Are you um, extremely smart? Um, if you're extremely smart, um, most likely you're not going to listen to my uh, channel. You're probably going through and, uh, um, you know, and, and you know so much that you're going to be able to come out with the answers. You may have read so many books and so forth. Um, but um, if you are coming to my channel and listening to my voice, you have searched everywhere. And this just kind of maybe you're bored at night and you can't fall asleep whatever however god has um, led you to my channel and listening to my voice for whatever reason you are here not by accident uh, but there may have been so many blessings in your life and you are in search for whatever truth well if you're uh, if you're here for that reason then you are here for the right reason Revelations 1 3 God blesses the one who reads the words um, of of this prophecy to the church and he blesses all who um, listen to its message and obey what it says for the time is near I am doing this um, and um, you know during this um, you know quarantine of course like everybody maybe like most people I've tried to find ways to, you know, continue to do my work and, and uh, be as diligent and everything. But um, it comes at such a time that nothing we do is going to matter. Everything we do with our human hands is futile effort. I don't know if you realize that. Have you come to that conclusion yourself? Well, if you have, then you're in the right place. It is such a time that time is near and therefore only God um, and God's way is going to um, make way where there is no way. First John 5, 1 through 3. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Lord is born of God and everyone that loveth him that begot um, loveth him and um, also, also that is for, uh, begotten of him. So if you came, maybe, you know, you could have um, preached, um, you know, Lucifer or, you know, sang Lucifer or Satan or whatever. 
um, you know, all these different gods, all these different um, things. But if God has brought you to his himself through the word, I'm telling you, you belong to God. You don't belong to Satan. You need to get yourself free from there. Um, and maybe I'm talking very, very harshly, but um, if you're, you know, believing in other things, but God has brought you, um, questioned whatever you're believing, you want to really be in search of the real truth, then there's something, there is work in the Holy Spirit in your life. Recognize that. By this, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. Um, there are many, many people out there that I am praying every single day that, that uh, those people are going to some way, somehow be connected to the word. Um, we may not know each other. We may never be able to um, get to know each other. But if you are going to come to um, the truth, um, you know, by, by whatever effort that I put out there, uh, for you, um, then God has done that. He takes the glory for this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. And that is definitely what I'm praying for. How do I know if God loves me? Well, you know that God loves you because, um, Maybe the, the, the way that your life is going is not going uh, correctly. If you're not in God and your life prospers continually in that route, then, then you will fall further and further away from God, right? Verse sec uh, 2 says, by this we know that we love, um, we, we love the children of God. When we love God and keep his commandments, the way we know that we love God is by keeping his commandments. How do we love God? We keep his commandments. Are God's commandments um, heavy? Yeah, it isn't easy. Being a Christian is not um, a, a joy ride. There's a lot of persecution. It goes against the natural way, um, you know, of the earth. Um, sinning is so much easier. I'm telling you, um, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, 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 cursing the people that has wronged you. That is so much easier than forgiving them and forget about forgiving them to love those people that are your enemies these are heavy so god's commandments are very very heavy and um and yet the way we love god is by keeping his commands matthew eleven thirty, for my yoke is e um, easy to bear and the burden i give you is light well this is the reason why um we need to have the holy spirit because when the Holy Spirit is in us, when we, um, when we have been baptized by the Holy Spirit, then my yoke, his yoke is um, easy to bear and the burden um, is light. But when we have to do this by, by conscientious and the human effort, I'm telling you, it's very heavy. So what about you? Um, is um, going to church an impossibility for you? Um, or do you know people that are not coming to church? You know, if they are sinners, they're not, they're probably most likely not going to want to go to church. Okay. So this is why they're not going to listen to you. If you're a mom, if you're a grandma, if you're an aunt, if you're, you know, whoever, um, but, um, your children, the people you love are not coming to, um, God. It's because they're, they have so much, um, heavy weight of uh, sin in their life and they don't want to come because they know that um, by going even just the the mere fact that they decide to go to church all of that um, is going to be exposed it's up their uh, spiritual being uh, resisting them resisting uh, for them to go to church the law does not um, have the word of God as its own only by the gospel the gospel is yoking with the Lord. 
Um, so that's a very, very hard thing to understand. But basically, this means that, um, you know, we cannot uh, follow God's word um, on our own accord, just conscientiously wanting to do it, no matter how good you think you are as a human being, you don't sin, you don't, you know, you don't hurt other people. There's many people are, that are like that. And you, 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 you know, keep the law, um, so many things. And, and, uh, and then they comment, a uh, lot of, you know, Christians don't live like that. So how can you, you know, compare these people that are really good and law abiding and they're very good to their family and everything. And then comparing with a sinning Christian, how can you say that those people that are doing all the good things, they're going to go to hell. And then all those people that are, um, you know, they're not, uh, good people. Um, and, uh, and just because they're Christians, they're going to go to heaven. Well, you know, um, that's how good God is that he's, I know I'm going to get a flood of hate people and hate comments for this, but, um, but yeah, you know, um, we don't get saved because, um, of good works. Uh, there's nothing, um, that says that we can do it on our own accord. Um, it is Jesus Christ um, that is the bridge. And, uh, we are all, um, work in progress. Every one of us is a work in progress. So, um, you know, since all of these, uh, Bible studies are actually, you are witnessing me learning. Um, yeah, you know, I, I would love to go back and just actually go through it until I become proficient at these Bible studies. But for right now, I just, I, I have an assignment. I believe the Holy Spirit has assigned me these projects and I have a very small window of time to get it done. But I wanted to just share that because um, so many people are hurting out there and it's because they don't know God. Um, they don't know uh, God's um, truth. And many people, you know, um, they are committing suicide. All these K-pop, um, they make so much money. They have so much fame and all of these things. And then they feel so alone. Um, and uh, if, you know, um, if our, uh, if we can do anything to change one life from committing suicide, uh, one life from feeling that like they are so alone in this entire universe that nobody loves them, nobody cares about them. They only want something from them. If something can change to feel that they, they know that God who created the, created the entire universe has sent his most precious only begotten son to die on the cross for their sin, for your sin, for my sin. And knowing that God will never uh, forsake them or abandon them. Maybe their biological parents may have, but not the God um, that who created us. If they know that truth, it, and if that's going to prevent one human soul from committing a suicide, won't you think that that would be worth it? This is the reason why I do what I do. I'm not good at what I do. Um, you know, I'm not uh, a, a good speaker. And, um, you know, all of these are not my thoughts. Um, I'm sharing whatever I can access and sharing and all of that. But I really wanted to reach out to that one soul that God has assigned me to prevent from, you know, uh, causing a separation for all eternity. Um, and I hope that um, this is going to compel you to do the same. And if you can, you know, if you feel that um, you are a hard worker, but you want to do something to give back to the kingdom of God, um, to the body of Christ, um, anything, anyone can be used by God. You know that? Um, the weakest of the weak 
is going to be used for the the glory of God. So I want to reach out to you and um, and uh, hopefully it would move your hearts to be able to, you know, participate in a movement um, at this um, day and age. Anyways, um, thank you so much for attending the scripture, uh, the word disciple training and, um, you know, come back for the other uh, series. Thank you so much and God bless.